Good morning and welcome to our Facebook Live this morning. It's Monday the 14th of February which for us here in the UK is Valentine's Day or Friendship Day if you um, would prefer. So thank you for joining me. It's the start of Scenery Week this week. I've decided we're going to do some cards creating scenes um, and these will be a mixture of scenes with a mixture of stamp sets and we're going to start with a um, new to me stamp set it's in the January to June 2022 catalogue and it's on page 39 so if you haven't joined me before good morning or good evening Kerry my name's Jenny McCormack and and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley which is in the center of Northampton Northamptonshire in the UK so I thought we would use this stamp set today called Ocean Front no it doesn't look like a great deal um, but it does make some fantastic scenes. I haven't used it yet, but I've seen quite a few great examples from other demonstrators. Um, so this one here has been stamped and it, it has basically layers that you can use for sea, for sky, you could use them as fields, you could use them as mountains, hills, um, and then it has some silhouette stamps that you can put in the foreground and also you can add in stamps from other stamp sets which is what we're going to be doing during the week so i'm just going to start with a simple sea scene today as it's called ocean front and i'm going to be using these three stamps here and then one of these, I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use to stamp in the foreground. But let's give this a go. This coordinates with the On The Horizon stamp set on page 43. Which is this one here, there's actually a complete spread of it and I appreciate you can't necessarily see all of that morning Jeanette um, but this particular set has um, coordinating papers so if you don't like stamping backgrounds the papers will do the work for you and it also has some coordinating dies that cut out some of the um, mountains and things and it has this lovely fencing um, that you've got either side that you can see here on that card there hopefully but we're just going to start off simple today this one has added the fencing in but I'm just going to be using the stamp set so this is the stamp set as is and the price of the set is £21 and it's just great for creating scenes. Now I've been watching the watercolour challenge on television that we have here um, and um, it's just fascinating to see the transition of artists from what they see to what they're able to paint. It, it never fails, never ceases to surprise me what an amazing job they do translating that now i'm absolutely no good at painting so i'm going to get all the stamps to do the work for me along with this set i'm also using these and these are called faux sea glass shapes so they're not actually glass they're acrylic um, but they do look like little bits of sea glass and there's another set that i have um that are like rocks and these work perfectly with these scenes let me just find that information here so the faux sea glass shapes are seven pounds fifty but we also have the pebbles they're seven pounds and i'm just going to 
find those for you. Okay. And they're here. So the pebbles are cinnamon cider, dark grey and light grey. So like a sort of smoky slate and a, and a basic grey. So they're really cute for finishing off your scenes. And so I'm going to be, if I remember, I'm going to be adding those in. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got dry throat this morning. So I've just got a stamping mat underneath because we are using photopolymer stamps and just a cover for that. And I've got the stamps loaded up onto blocks. Now these are actually quite big, bigger than you would think. So they don't fit on the standard D block. You will need a slightly larger block. So just warning you. Or if you've got the Stamparatus, obviously you could do that. So let us give this a go. So I've got a piece of basic white. And I'm thinking just the standard seascape to start with. So I'm going to have the sky, which I'm going to do in balmy blue. I'm going to have the sea in Coastal Cabana and then I'm going to use Sahara sand for the sand at the bottom and then I'm going to use Early Espresso for the contrast of the um, grasses here whichever one I end up using so let's give this go so I haven't stamped these yet so I'm just going to stamp them off onto here first so I hope everybody's had a nice weekend. It's a tiny bit of fluff on this one. Not sure where that's come from. There we go. Okay, so this is balmy blue and this is going to be my sky. So I'm going to use this sort of rectangular shape. So I hope you can see that, okay? There we go. So just to see what it looks like. Now these are designed to look like you've watercolored them. So they do have an element of um, shade and everything in there. I can see I've got a bit of something on there, obviously from my ink pad. So let's clean that off. Now I don't think it matters which way round you stamp this because it's got a fairly level horizon either way. I've got a piece of basic white thin cardstock and I've cut that to nine and a half by 13.85 and I've got a couple of layers that I can use behind so I'm going to wait until I stamped it to decide. So I've got a Bermuda Bay. Um, I've also got a smoky slate, but I can grab a different colour if I need it. So let's stamp this one. Let's take the ink pad to the stamp again because they are quite large. This would make a great wedding invitation for a beach, a beach wedding, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's stamp this up here. Now, I have no idea on um, placement sizing or anything. So we'll give it a go on a standard piece and I can always cut it down if I need to. Okay, so there's our sky. And there's nothing to stop you just using that over three times for um, lines going down. Okay, that's that one. Let's clean that off. Oh, good. I'm glad all is well, Jeanette. Okay, so this is going to be our next layer. And this one has got the corner cut off. So I am going to overlap it slightly. And I'm going to try this in Coastal Cabana 
to be my line of C. And again, I'm going to stamp it onto my grid paper underneath just to see what it looks like. So we're going to take the flat edge at the top and I'm going to very slightly overlap it because there's not usually a gap between the sky and the sea. Okay, there we go. You can see that. Obviously the colours aren't as bright on the grid paper but they'll be more vibrant on the stamped card. And also to bear in mind that the colours don't always translate via the cameras. So we've got camera and we've got your screen. <laughs> we've got the internet deciding what colour it wants to be. Okay, so this is going to be our C. I'm just going to bring this down so it's a bit closer to me. And again, just overlapping. Great for mail cards, of course. And I have done um, on my YouTube channel a series of stamp a scene um, videos. So if you go to my YouTube channel, uh, look for my playlists, and then I've got a whole series of scenery designed cards now some of those will obviously be out of date and some of those stamp sets may not be available but um, there's lots of different ideas on there and i've got quite a few ideas for what we're going to do with this during the week okay so here we've got our other piece now what have i done here Oh, yeah. It's going to go at an angle like that. Couldn't work that out for a minute. Got something sticky on my block. So this one I'm going to do in Sahara, Sahara sand. But there are some stamps here that you could use to add block, um, you know, rock detail in the front as well. Okay, so we're just going to try this on our grid paper. And again, just very slight overlap in this case. And I think what I'm going to do is maybe two layers of that. To fill it in a little bit more. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Or not. <coughs> Chew! Excuse me. I did indeed. Okay, so here's the crumb cake going on. Take my glasses off so I can see what I'm doing. And again, slight overlap, like that, and going to bring that down. I'm actually going to turn it round here. So that I've got some different layers going on like that. Oh, I hope you can see that. Okay. So now I'm going to add my detail in the foreground. So let's see. I've got that grass. And the other thing that's really useful is some little dots. This one here. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. 
it's very likely in here. So this could be useful if you've got a gap anywhere in here, you could use that to fill it in. Okay. Right, let's clean that one off. Right, now I'm just going to deliberate. I might have this on here quite like that piece. So we tend to think of, I mean this is called ocean front, so we tend to think of beach scenes. But what I'm going to do tomorrow is change this into a field scene um, with a completely different look. Okay, so I'm just going to try this on my little practice piece here. So this is early espresso. Just going to lift that up. So I think it needs some more onto it. Hi Sylvia, good morning. Did you get everything sorted Sylvia? Because there was an issue that was um, posted on the demonstrator website saying there was a problem. Okay, so I've got this little set here. I just want to try this out before I put it onto my main card. Okay, yeah I think that works. Okay, so let's grab that one again. So this is early espresso I'm using, and the stamp set I'm using is Oceanfront. For anybody who's just joined us, the little stamp. Uh, do you mean this one here? Got tiny little dots. If that's the one you meant. Although we have got these grasses, I don't know, maybe they would be better. Hmm. Now I can't decide. Let me just stamp <coughs> this other set of grasses on here. Because that was what I planned originally. Yeah, so I'm just going to stamp this here to see like that one. Actually, I think I prefer that. Should have stuck with my original plan. Okay, so this is going to go and do one here like that. I think I might put one, or maybe just the little ones. Problem is, I want to keep it nice and um, what's the word? Simple, clean. There's that one there. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Now you could add some more of this um, crumb cake here at the bottom and extend this down if you wanted to. But I quite like the way that that's um, finished slightly high. OK, 
okay so let's have a look and see now I'm not going to put a sentiment onto this one but I might do for any others let's have a look at the background so we haven't touched um, these boulders here and I also thought <coughs> excuse me you could use that as um, clouds as well in the sky if you wanted to sorry that's reflecting a little bit there we go so I really do think it makes a good man's card or a thinking of you or a retirement card so that is on smoky slate I quite like that I appreciate you can't really see that let's have a look this is Bermuda Bay mm, I like that too right let me grab a white card just one I'm going to pop it onto and see what that looks like yeah I think I'm going to go with Bermuda Bay like so so let's put this on and then I'm going to add some of those um, faux sea glass pieces just along the edge they're very sweet okay let's grab some glue oh that's a bit um that's obviously not had its top on from coffee and card so most of the glue is now in the top <laughs> never mind okay so i'm just going to layer this up that yes I think they both work I think the um they would yeah that was a scrap that happened to be there but I do like the warmth of the Bermuda Bay and where possible I like to go a little bit darker for that layer and it makes the image pop a little bit now, there's lots of things you could do with this. We could have a boat on the horizon. Uh, we could have birds up there. Um, so there's lots of things that we could do to make this a little bit more interesting. Look at the glue in there. <laughs> That's because you can see it really, can you? It's full of glue. I think what I'll have to do is swap it for one that's nearly empty okay so I'm going to pop this layer onto the front of our card and one thing I'm going to do then is look for some sentiments that would work um, nicely with this as I say it would make a good retirement card um, a thinking of you card, a moving card if, for a new home if somebody was moving to the sea for example. There we go and let's add some of these little sea glass pebbles. So we've got white, we've got like a pear pizzazz colour and like coastal cabana. So let's grab our pokey tool just add some take my glasses off so i can see what i'm doing so these are like slightly misshapen and there's three oh no there's just different shapes and sizes so you've got this this panel here you've got these here these and those in three different colors so and they're self-adhesive into everything let's have a clear one and maybe a small
Here's the putty end, I think. Pick these up would be better. I'm sure you can see those. Let me have a look and see what you can see. They're just in there. Don't think you can really see. Maybe just see them that way a little bit. Okay, so that's going to be our first card for this week. So really simple, straightforward, literally one, two, three, four, five stamps. I do like them when they're like that. And it does make you look rather like you're a watercolour artist. So one day... I'll have a go at learning how to properly watercolour. But in the meantime, I love the fact that Stamping Up will do the work for us. And it looks like I've done a little work of art um, just using the stamps. So I hope you like that. Nice and straightforward. Very simple. Um, and all this week I'm going to be working on scenes. So a couple of ideas. Um, one is I'm going to do this to make it look like um, fields, English fields, with greens and browns. Um, I think we definitely need a sunset in there. So doing some different colours on this top panel. And then also combining this with some of our um, character stamps. So have a look for example we've got our little girls and their buckets and spades so that would be quite fun to have um, in here and in fact this lady here with these um, grasses and stuff would also work on there so we need to stamp her and mask it off. And in fact, there's a couple of birds on there. Maybe I will just add those to this sample. Why not? So lots of different things that we're going to do with this set this week. And combine it with others. Let's just bring this back. Thanks, Jeanette. So let us just, I'm just going to practice because I want to make sure my birds are flying the right way. don't really want them upside down. Okay, let's have a look. So this is where having your practice sheet is really useful. Yeah, that works perfectly. mess it up now there we go so I've got added my added the birds there okay so thank you so much we'll be back tomorrow Tuesday at um, 7 p.m. So I hope you're able to join us for the next in our series. So this stamp set is called Ocean Front, and I will add a link to the stamp set on the Facebook post. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a good week ahead and enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, depending on watching. So thank you so much, everybody. Do take care. Look after yourselves and your loved ones and I look forward to crafting with you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.